A liberal Canada has reclaimed what has traditionally been a safe ground for the grids. Yvonne Jones is rolling up a big victory over Conservative Peter Panache in uh, Labrador's federal by-election. Chris Sims is in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia with the details. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Pat. Yes, it was a thumping last night. Uh, Yvonne Jones, a very strong liberal candidate and a 17-year veteran of the uh, Lufin and Labrador legislature, has uh, reclaimed the seat for the liberals and it's being chalked up as a win for the newly minted liberal leader, Justin Trudeau, as well. So the final numbers last night, she got 5,814 votes. That's compared to Tories, Peter Panachewe, 3,922 votes, so almost a 2,000 vote difference there, so really no contest. Uh, last time around during the full federal election, Peter Panachewe eked out a teensy tiny with little win with 79 votes in the traditionally liberal riding of Labrador, which has about 24,000 people living in it. And uh, obviously uh, he's Innu and, uh, can't, and Prime Minister Stephen Harper wanted him desperately to stay in cabinet because because he was his only uh, member of parliament from Newfoundland and Labrador. He always dug his heels in during question period, insisting he was the best MP ever to come out of Labrador uh, for that region. But uh, last night, uh, Yvonne Jones recaptured it for the Liberals, and uh, many analysts are tallying this up as a win for Justin Trudeau, while some on the other side of the fence, so to speak, are saying, well, it was always a, a grit bastion anyway, so nothing really to see here, Pat. Yeah, except that it makes a big difference in terms of Justin Trudeau being uh, the liberal leader and the, you know, the, the, the consensus is that uh, he might be creating some kind of a stir. That's the thing, is people are saying this could be a sign of momentum building, uh, it could be a sign also that uh, people are really coming back to the liberal fold, so to speak, because here in Atlantic Canada, a lot of times uh, people kind of stick with the party like their family. Uh, it's much different than it is out west where you get a lot more swing voters that'll, you know, decide to say vote, vote uh, conservative federally, but they vote NDP provincially. That doesn't really happen in Atlantic Canada. You're either born a grit or you're born a Tory and that's about it. So some people are saying that Perhaps this means that people are coming back into the Liberal fold because they're re-energized. However, of course, the Tories are saying that isn't the case. Uh, they actually put out a, a release late last night saying that because somehow the Liberals dropped in opinion polls between now and then, that somehow Justin Trudeau is still in over his head. They won by 2,000 votes last night, which is a really strong showing. Also interesting, I find, it was a voter turnout of more than 50%, which is really strong for a by-election, and it was also up from the last federal election. So they had more turnout at the by-election, it looks like, according to what I was reading from David Aiken very late last night, um, than they did during the federal election, which is pretty significant. Also, uh, this is the first time the Tories have lost a by-election where they already held the seat. Usually they're very, very good and very tenacious about holding on to their own seats, and they've even captured some seats from other parties during by-elections. So they're definitely smarting after this one, even though it is true. This is a very traditionally liberal riding. Only, only one other time, Pat, has there ever been a PC or a conservative member of parliament coming out of Labrador. It's kind of similar to having, you know, a, a liberal win in Red Deer, so to speak. So it's a very traditional uh, liberal running, but uh, people will read into it what they want. I should note also that the NDP basically stayed the same uh, for their vote support. They got uh, 2,273 votes last night, so that was very similar to what they had last time out. Thomas Mulcair visited that remote teeny tiny riding a couple of times, and they put quite a bit of money and some uh, groundwork into that area. They really wanted to try to take that by-election in order to say nothing to see here folks ignore that uh, that brand new shiny uh, opposition leader we're the official opposition here and uh, please don't pay attention to the liberals but that wasn't to be last night pat no absolutely not chris thanks very much you're welcome